Hi, my name is Sean Tomlinson. I'm the filmmaker and photographer behind the Warrior Collective. Uh, today, um, I was asked to do a tutorial on Dutch kickboxing drills inv involving high and low. Uh, I mean, to be honest, Dutch kickboxing is all about the high and low combinations. Uh, but we're going to work some progressive combinations now, building them up um, to simulate the volume and the level changing that happens in the, in the Dutch style. Okay, so we're going to work it give and take, so we're using our gloves to pad and we're passing it back and forth. Um, now typically we build it up, okay, when you ever, whenever you work something that's big volume, it, it can become a little bit of a memory thing as well. So you don't want it to become choreographed per se, but the, the fact that you know what you're doing and that you keep doing it allows you to work on the, on the, the, the mechanics, the, the synapses and and just putting it all together and feeling like you can flow with it, yeah? And obviously because we're not going full power like we are on pads, it gives us a little bit of freedom to get a bit more feedback on, on, on certain other things as well. Okay, so help me out today is Mike, as always. Okay, so we're, go we're both gonna face each other left leg forward, orthodox. Okay, so again, you can switch stance. One of the things that we're not gonna be doing today because it'll make this tutorial about 10 hours long is, is switching stance each time, but you can. As I've demonstrated on previous tutorials, switching stance is something that happens a lot as well. But when, we, when we're working volume, typically it's a better idea just to stick to your, your stronger stance. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is we're just padding each other. We're gonna start off with jab, cross, hook. So I'm gonna go left jab, right cross, left hook. And then I'm gonna pass it back. Left jab, right cross, left hook. Okay, so at this point we'll be doing it two, three, five minutes, however you want, you want moving around. We're not going to be doing loads of movement because there's no one behind the cameras. We just, uh, we just set the cameras to record. But typically, you know, this is where you move around, use your ring, you know. But again, try not to run around the place, you know. Try and restrict yourself to a certain area and feel like you can fight out of the corner, fight off the ropes, take the center position, work your ring craft. Okay, so a couple more. So he holds it for me, so I go jab, cross, hook, and then we move, me goes, jab, cross, hook, moving around, that's it, I'm just switching sides, and again, he feeds me, jab, cross, hook, I feed him, jab, cross, hook, he feeds me, jab, cross, hook, he feed, I feed him, that's it. Okay, so adding on to that now, okay, I'm going to add on a right body kick, so after this left hook, boom, I've turned his body that way, but I've also set up my own mechanics. So after this left hook here, I'm gonna fire the right body kick here. Now when I do this body kick, notice how he's blocking. He's not checking. You can check. The only reason that checking is not as common in, in, in Dutch as they go up is just because they wanna count with the boxing. Uh, and also it's stylistically a lot more of, of how they block the high kicks. But you could, you could check if that feels more comfortable. So again, I've thrown this right body kick here. As soon as I've thrown this right body kick, he's gonna counter with the switch left kick of his own, and I'm gonna block myself, yeah? So the whole drill then, up to this point, again, which is where we put that timer on and move around, I'm gonna go jab, cross, hook, right body kick, and then he counters, and I block. And then he goes jab, cross, hook, right kick, and then I counter, and he blocks. And again, go. Jab, cross, hook, right kick, Ooh, that's it, and then he goes up. Jab, cross, hook, kick, and then a counter. Ooh, that's it, and then we switch sides. And again, he holds for me. So I go jab, cross, hook, right kick. Ooh, switch, kick, that's it. I hold for him. That's it, one more time. And coming back. So. After that now, okay, I'm gonna add on again. So after that left kick to the body, here, boom. I'm gonna land forward. Uh, so after I've blocked his left kick, should I say. So after he's thrown this left kick and I've blocked it, I'm gonna go right cross, right knee, left hook high, right cross low. So with that right knee, um, I'm not clinching, but I could grab on top of the head or across here and drive that knee in for a, a single clinch. I'm not looking to tie him up. I'm using my boxing and throwing that knee. I can also throw the knee without taking that clinch, Ooh, just a free. It depends on where my, my, my opponent or my partner's body mechanics is. If I'm hitting here and he's covering, and he's kind of tucking forward as he covers, that's when that knee ooh, is more applicable. If he's tall like Mike, then the breaking of the posture you know, definitely may help. 
Okay, so just doing it slow, swing him in. So go jab, cross, hook, right kick, he counters here. I go right cross, right knee, left hook, right straight to the body. And then he goes jab, cross, hook, right kick, block, counter, cross, knee, hook, and cross the body. That's it. And again, at this point now, we'd pull that timer on, we'd move around, and we'd pass it back and forth uh, and get a good feel for it. So again, my go. So jab, cross, hook, kick, block, counter, cross, knee, hook, and cross. And then he goes. That's it. Okay, so we'll switch sides, do it one more time this side. So again, I'm here, jab, cross, hook, Right kick, ooey block, cross, ooey knee, ooey hook, and cross, that's it. And he goes, jab, cross, hook, kick, block, cross, knee, ooey hook, punch, ooey, that's it. Okay, so the next one now, okay, so this one's going to have a couple more defensive elements in it, okay. So I'm going to attack high with the boxing and smash that low kick in. So to begin with now, my partner's going to initiate this, 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 this second drill. So he throws a jab, I parry it as a jab here, yeah? So again, he throws that jab, parry down, jab, yeah? So he's using that, that right hand to, to mimic the pad. So adding on to that though, so as he throws that jab, I'm going to parry, jab, I'm going to straight away jab and cross. So I'm jabbing the second pad as well as this one, second glove should I say. So it looks a little bit less, so he throws a jab, jab, and then jab, cross. And then I'll do it for him. So I throw the jab, he parries it and jabs, and then jab cross. That's it. And then he does it for me. I'll do it for him. That's it. Just change sides. And again, he throws that jab, parry, jab, jab cross. I'll do it to him. Parries, jab, jab cross. That's it. One more time. He throws it to me, jab, jab cross. I'll throw it back. That's it. Pass him. So, adding on to that now, once, once I've landed this cross, he's going to throw the jab at me again. I'm going to slip out. From there, I'm going to throw a right cross, then he throws the left hook and a roll. Then I'm going to go right hook, left hook, right low kick. Yeah? Okay, so I'm attacking high and then finishing with that right low round kick. So one more time, all the way through, he throws a jab, parry it down, jab, jab cross, he throws the jab again, a slip. Cross, roll the hook, 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 and then low kick. Now, I'm not a big fan of rolling, but it has its advantages. You've always got to be wary of bobbing and weaving a lot when people are kneeing and kicking. But in a style that's very hand orientated, the roll can get you out of danger and leave the partner uh, completely off balance. But I wouldn't overuse it, okay? Me personally being taught, I prefer to sit back and knee or block and cover, but the roll does have its advantage, like I said. So one more time, he throws that jab, parry, jab, jab, cross, slip, cross, roll, hook, hook, low kick. And then I pass it back, so we'll do it slower, throw the jab, he parries, jab, jab, cross, he slips, cross, roll, hook, hook, and then low kick. Notice how I'm not checking that kick, you know, it's going to help with the conditioning. If it starts to feel sore, just bend your leg and turn, turn your knee towards the kick. That'll help you take the fire in it. Okay, and again, one more time, he throws a jab, parry, jab, jab, cross, slip, cross, roll, hook, hook, roll, kick. That's it. He does it now. That's it, and we switch. And again, he throws that jab. Throw it back, pass, jab, jab, cross, slip, cross, roll, hook, hook, kick. Ooh, that's it. And again, one more time, throw that jab, pass, jab, jab, cross, slip, cross, roll, hook, hook, kick. Ooh, that's it. I'll throw it back now. Ooh, that's it. Switching back. Okay, third and final one now. Okay, so we're going to start this one with uh, a hand exchange. So again, I throw the jab, cross. He immediately counts with left hook, a block, and then cross, hook, cross. So you don't have to throw this hook properly. Just It's, it's doing two things. It's reminding your partner that the guard's there. And one of the things that people sometimes do is when they throw this cross, they leave the chin above it, or 
they drop it on the retraction. So you're helping your partner learn not to make those mistakes with that right cross. So again, I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross. That's it, now I'll do the same for him. So he goes jab, cross, covers, cross, hook, cross. And one more time. So I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross. And then he goes. That's it, and then we move. Okay, so same thing this side. So remember, this drill is about making sure that hand's there. But as it hits me with that hook, and I've blocked it, I'm going straight down the inside of that right hand. So I'm trying to come inside his hook. So I'm teaching myself, as soon as I feel that hook hit, I'm powering down that middle. Yeah, I'm not waiting. So again, I go jab, cross, touches, lead, cross, hook, cross. And then he goes jab, cross, touch, cross, hook, cross. And one more, jab, cross, touch, cross, hook, cross. And he goes, Good, then we switch it. So now we're gonna now we're gonna add on to that. Okay, so from that from that right cross here, okay, I'm gonna go low. Okay, so I'm gonna go left body shot. So here is gonna tuck in like this. So from that cross, I'm gonna go left body shot here. Yeah? From that left body shot, I'm gonna come back up with a right cross, and then I'm gonna walk forward, he's gonna step back. Yeah, then he's gonna hold the double pad position here. And I'm going to throw a left knee up as if it was going to his chin. Here. Boom. That's it. Yeah. So again, all the way through. So I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, low body. Boom. Right cross. I can leave that hand there and push if he doesn't fall backwards. If he falls backwards, I'm going to step and swing that knee up. So it's not like knee where you're hipping forward. You're driving that knee up and you're looking for them to be defending like this with the chin down, the head tucked in and you're swinging that up through the, through the guard. Yeah, so he goes now. So he goes jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body shot, cross, step and knee. That's it. And again, I'll go again. So I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body shot, cross, step, knee. That's it. And then he goes. Jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee. That's it. And we switch it. Okay, same thing this side. So again, I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body shot, cross, step, knee. Ooh, that's it. And again, he goes. Let's go. Jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body shot, cross, step, knee. That's it. And again, one more time. Jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body shot, cross, step, knee, and then he goes, jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, that's it. Now, if that knee doesn't finish them, okay, then they're going to be wobbled, yeah? So we're going to look at now to finish, if the finish doesn't work. So after that knee here, boom, if I feel like I still have some ground to make up, so after I've done this knee here, I feel like I have some ground to make up. I'm going to use my left hand just to destabilize it as I step across his body and take my right head kick through. Okay, so I'm looking for that head kick finish. So I'm looking for my partner rattled, maybe hands dropping now, I've landed that knee or kind of landed that knee or even just, even if he's took it all, that the volume is has got him, he's broken his composure. So all the way through now, so I go jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, break his posture, and then right, kick. And again, one more time, jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, break if it needs it, little step across, Deliver that kick and then come back. Okay, so I'll let Mike do it now. So again, jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, stabilize off, and then hip kick. That's it. Okay, that's it. So we're going to a little bit quicker now. So I'll go. So again, jab, cross, cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, little bit of destabilization, and then that right head kick. And then he goes, jab, cross, Cover, cross, hook, cross, body, cross, step, knee, stabilize, boom, kick. 
That's it. Okay, so all these drills then, what they have in common is these elements of high and low, punch and kick. But you'll notice they're all super going forward, yeah? Again, we're looking for that volume and that high and low to at least land some of them. And then you land one, you try and break your partner's will and composure to land the next one cleaner, the next one cleaner. When you land one of these shots, it should be enough to rock them, if not drop them. So the idea is that each one of these shots has intent. Whether it's the punch of the body, the kick to the head, the knee, a combination is only as good as its weakest link, okay? So drill it all, move around, put that timer on, work through the combinations, uh, and I hope you enjoy doing them as much as we've enjoyed teaching them today, okay? Like always, make sure you take some time now, check out the other instructions and videos on the Warrior Collective. There really are some amazing, amazing tutorials on there, okay? Uh, take the time, look through them, make some comments, share, like, uh, let me know what, you've, what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying, okay? Um, and if there's anything that you want to watch in another tutorial further down the line, please make a comment uh, in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.